Everyone who has ever watched even one video on my channel knows how much I despise Edge. The man traumatized my childhood. He screwed over John Cena, Batista, Matt Hardy, my mom, Rey Mysterio, you, you name it, screwed them all over. So I was like, okay, Edge has been dodging me for the past 17 years. For the past 17 years, ever since I was 7 years old, I've been ready to beef him, ready to fight him, I've been ready for the ultimate showdown. For the past 17 years, I've been ready to beef him, but he's just been too much of a pussy. Apparently, Edge does does not want the smoke. So I thought, all right, that's fine. You know what? We're not cavemen, SpongeBob. We have technology. Why don't we just simulate the match in a video game? You know, the dream match. What would happen if Pav and Edge got into the ring one on one in one of the longest story arcs of all time? 17 years. For 17 years, this one man traumatized his child, but now the child is all grown up and it's time for some action. And yo, I did it. I did Pav versus Edge in WWE 2K22. Two out of three falls, Extreme Rules match taking place. At Monday Night Raw in 2005 and uh yo I'ma just be honest like I am never playing that match ever again roll the footage So the match took place at the good old fashioned Monday Night Raw arena. I came out looking mad cute and shit with my sexy Iverson jersey and pink tights. Edge came out looking like a sick, sick old man. Of course, he did his stupid humping the ring thing where he just looks like a disgusting, slimy perv. But yo, it was on, the bell rang, and the match started. And at first, I was like, all right, like, you know, how hard could this possibly be? I got the early reverse, so it was back and forth. And you know, the man casually teleported and then headbutted me like a Neanderthal. But you know what? It was okay, it was fine. So I clotheslined him out the ring and at this point I was mad amped, I went to the top rope and I was about to do some damage, uh, but the issue was the idiot took like years to stand up. One eternity later. But whatever, he stands up, I jump and bang, I miss and ladies and gentlemen, as soon as I miss, at this point I knew I fucked up. Edge goes in the ring and boom, out of nowhere, somehow this man just pulls out a crazy ass dive out of his ass and he just starts going crazy on me. Two minutes into the match, I'm already bleeding, I'm apparently dying, and Edge is just destroying me. But it's late, I get up and I try to break Edge's neck, but, but the issue is, it doesn't really do anything. And that was the problem, no matter what I did in this match, it didn't mean anything. This guy was a cheat code, he was bobbing and weaving like Prime Floyd Mayweather, and even though I did something, even if I bashed in his brains with a chair, it did not matter, because he would just get up like it's nothing. Literally, no matter what I did, there was no problem, he would just get up and boom, execution, three minutes into the match, he pins me and yo, there was no reason for that pin to be as close as it was. But yeah man, no, it, it didn't matter, no matter what I did, I would reverse it, I would hit him with a chair, I would do this i do that he would just get up like he was michael myers he was bleeding i was bleeding but the problem was it felt like he wasn't even hurt at all i'm like oh it's fine i got the chair i'm good nope doesn't matter because he would just like grapple me through the chair and yo he wanted to end me early he wanted to finish it asap he picks me up and boom spear and as soon as he pins me i was mashing x like my life depended on it because honestly it really did and i got the luckiest kick out of my life so at this point i'm angry i'm like oh you want to do finishers early hey eh? you want to do the finishers now i get up i go for the rko but of course reverse and at that point i knew i was done i slowly back away i'm holding block but boom doesn't matter spear 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 and four minutes into the match i already had to use my resiliency but it's okay i kept fighting i kept pulling reversals out of nowhere i had to be creative i had to persevere and i really had to be on my game not like it mattered but you know i still had to try so eventually i got the ladder bridge and at this point this was my eight mile eminem one shot one opportunity <laughs> I had him bridged on the ladder, I went to the top rope, I said my prayers and I was hoping he didn't reverse, I jump and YOLO, I put that piece of shit through the ladder and it was amazing. But the issue was, he still only had yellow damage. Nah man, Edge was just too cracked up, I am telling you, I don't know what they fed him, I don't know what drugs they injected in him, he was doing just the weirdest stuff, he would just run around and taunt me and troll me. The mind games were real, for some reason Edge as a CPU was getting me tilted in a wrestling video game. But nah, this wasn't a normal CPU, I swear to god he was on meth, we were just throwing out the most random moves at one point, nothing was hitting, nothing was connecting, he went for the spear, I went for the super kick, nothing hit, it was just total insanity, and I literally felt like I was was fighting for my life but at that point i'm like okay i gotta go for the hail mary the rko wasn't working i already put him through the ladder 
At this point, I had to put him through the announce table. So somehow I get him outside the ring without him reversing. I put him on the table and I press R2X and this was the Hail Mary. This was the big shot. I go to the top rope after punching him in the head. I'm standing there and I soar through the air so nicely and boom, I clapped him. It was the most elite thing I could have done. The sexiest move, the best move. It was my time to shine. I hit it. He was stunned. I throw him in the ring. It's time to go up 1-0 in the 2 out of 3 falls match. Match. one two no of course not of course not. the mother canucker kicked out of a flying moonsaw through the announce table from the top rope so then i do the worst wake up taunt in history and this was probably my downfall but he gets up rko my finisher it's done it's over the first fall is going to me one two no Yo, you can't tell me this wasn't rigged. I, I am telling you this was rigged. What could I possibly even do at that point? I did two finishers. I grab him up. I go for the F you, but nah, because apparently F me, right? He reverses. And if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't sad enough that two finishers and a signature couldn't do the job, for some reason, Edge grabs a hockey stick and chases me around the ring. Why does God hate me? This was the most embarrassing 30 seconds of my life and I was fighting the CPU and I was still embarrassed. Edge with the hockey stick beat my ass like how my dad did after order WrestleMania 20, 20 times. But it was fine, okay? I got up, I got the stick, and now it was my time to shine. It was my time to get revenge for Cena, Batista, Taker, Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, all of them. So I went nuts with the hockey stick. But the problem was, then he went nuts, then I did, we just kept reversing, and at this point, I don't know what the hell this match became. But then, out of nowhere, somehow, someway, I run, I duck, grab him, boom, F you, one, two, three, I finally pinned Edge. But the problem was, how the hell was I supposed to do it again? But it's fine, now, now I was angry, I was in the zone, I got the pinfall, and I'm like, yo, this is it, it's now or never, I'm tweaking, I'm jumping off over the ropes, I'm getting tables out, I'm doing my thing, casually lighting a, you know, table on fire, but then Edge just starts trolling me again. Like, you, you, there's no way you can tell me that this was a CPU, this was a possessed CPU. He just starts walking around the ring, he comes to me, and just turns around and walks all the way around, like, he just kept trolling me. I was waiting to be him and he's out here doing laps around the ring like a gym teacher so then he finally does pull up and i swear to god i press circle before him but no he somehow grabs me and starts beating my ass but it's fine on some ronda rousey vibes i get the judo throw and it was time i picked him up on my shoulders and i running batista bombed him through the flaming table it was the greatest time of my life like i literally put edge through a flaming table it was the greatest day of my life until Edge got up and tortured me with the hockey stick. But nah, I wasn't gonna go down that easy. I hit him with the spine buster and 17 years of pent up frustration just came out because I went off with the hockey stick. But this time, now it was time to end it. The fun and games were over. The ladder was in the ring. There's a table in the ring. Flying uppercut to his head. F you in the ring. Everything was going amazing. It was all coming down to the conclusion, the climax. It was time to do some crazy move and end the match. I was about to do the final holy sacrifice. I was about to lay him on the table jump off a ladder and YOLO and it was going so well until it happened. Reversal, suplex, picks me up and spear. One, two, three. It was 1-1, one, one, of course. So now it was time to lay it all on the line. So I did one of the most insane moves I could possibly do. Whatever this is, I tweaked in the air and I folded edge. I hit him with a stop sign. I threw him in the ring and I hit that no good SOB with an RKO. It was perfect. I placed him on the table. He was stunned. He was not gonna reverse anything. And honestly, I was about to be stunned too with what I was about to pull off. I knew I wasn't going to be able to climb the ladder, but he's on the table. So I'm like, all right, I'll do a springboard dive and I'll just pin him. I go to the ropes. I jump and let's end the match. It's about to be over. Everything goes black. My life flashes before my eyes. I'm going for the craziest springboard ever. And boom. 
But you know what? It's fine. He's still dead, right? I can just go to the other side. So I go to the other side and one more attempt. It was all me, all or nothing. I jump, I leap in the air. Boom. God hates me. God actually hates me. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. I get him up. I RKO him through the table, but the table doesn't break. So now I can't even do moves through a table. I can't do springboards. Edge is possessed and now the world is against me. And this is where I was about to learn my lesson. One to simply not get one over on Edge. You can't beat Edge. Edge always prevails. So I try to put him through the table one more time, you know, try to get the ladder. But no, of course, Edge is way too slimy and too disgusting so the ladder slips and falls i knew what was gonna happen i knew i was going to lose i know the game hated me i know edge is too op and i knew that edge always prevails but i wasn't gonna go down without a fight it was still 17 years of anger that led me here and i was going to win so i grab him and i swear i was so amped i f you him through the table i'm like whatever i know it's not spectacular i know it's not crazy ending but i wanted the pin f you through the table one two no no, 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 of course not. But it's fine. I still have my finisher, right? Every, everything's fine. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm doing my thing. I'm jumping around like the dumb monkey that I am. But then he got me on the ground. And after everything I did, somehow he was still standing and he went to the corner. And everyone knows what happens when Edge goes to the corner. You think you know me. All the flashbacks occurred of Cena getting clapped and Undertaker getting clapped of Edge in the corner brushing his stupid little hair. Ed, I'm here in the match. I'm slowly getting up. I turn around. I am praying that the reversal prompt shows up. I turn around. Boom. Spear. One, two, three. Edge won. In case I needed any reminder on who owns me, in case I needed any reminder on who traumatized my childhood, in case I needed any reminder on which wrestler I hate the most out of every single one of them, there it was. Edge beat my ass in WWE 2K22. After all that stuff I did to him, you know, put him through tables, flying around the ring, flaming tables, hockey sticks, RKOs, FUs, you name it. Edge's black magic was way too much, his black magic was too OP, and I lost. I made him bleed, I killed him, I tortured him, I did everything I could, but it was just proof that Edge will always own me. And I know I could have won if I pinned him after one of the RKOs, but it was like, I wanted to do the spectacular ending, I wanted to drop a bomb on him, I wanted to just clap him, but nah, I couldn't, he's just too slimy and disgusting, and it just cemented it, Edge always prevails. I hate my life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. It's your boy Pav, aka Wrestling Gifts. Take it easy, take care, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Later, guys.